Erling Haaland, how the does he score all those goals? Well, today we're gonna analyze and I'm gonna give you some training drills so you can work on some of those aspects on your own. So make sure you've subscribed and let's do it. First things first, the drills. You can do them alone or optimally with a friend. And if you don't have a keeper, you can create these high scoring chance areas in the goal by marking the sides with poles or cones and then aim for those. Because chances are that if you hit there, the keeper won't have that many chances. The first thing I want to look at is how Holland is fantastic at creating space for himself by making clever runs from deep because you'll often see him actually dropping back into the pitch to act as a target man while he receive a pass and lay it back off again and then actually go on the deep run. Now it might happen that Holland gets the through ball immediately, but also might be so that the player receiving the layoff actually passes the ball out to, let's say, the flank. But Holland sees this and actually still runs deep in order to get in a good position and maybe get at the end of a potential cross. The whole crossing business we're going to get back to that in the next drill. Because the first drill is all about coming down, laying the ball off, and then getting at the end of a through ball, doing a deep run. So what you want to do here is that you're going to drop down from your center forward position. You're going to lay off a pass, and then you're immediately going to make a deep run. Now, what's important here is that you don't just turn around and run straight towards the goal. No, you want to do a slightly angled run, because then right you're here, the cones are defenders. You can actually go on the defender's blind side and also make sure that you stay on side by running sideways a little bit. What's also important is that when you get up here, you don't just jog. No, you run at full speed like you would do in a real match. And then it's all about calling for the pass at the right time. So that means that it basically looks like this. You're gonna drop deep, hep, get the pass, lay it off gonna go on a deep run, hip, flip. You're gonna get at the end of it, and then you're gonna slot home. Of course, you can also do this drill even if you're alone. You'll need the same setup, but with two balls instead of one. So you basically have a ball at the first cone, you're gonna drop deep, you're gonna lay it off, then you're still gonna do the deep run, you're gonna stay on side, you're gonna call for the ball, and you're gonna sprint at it. But because there's no pass coming, you just keep running until you run into the ball so you can pick it up and put it in the corner in one of the high scoring chance areas. That's it. Of course, it's not as effective, but it's still gonna give you the same movement, the same way of thinking, so it'll do. Secondly, I want to look at Holland's ability to get at the end of crosses and convert them into goals. It might look super easy with all those tap-ins that he's scoring, but when you look at these so-called easy goals, you start to realize that they are anything but easy. At least the build-up isn't easy because Holland has this ability to realize that when he gets into the box, he really looks at where the defenders are and what the defenders can see. Because by getting in the defender's blind spot, Holland has a ton of space to easily convert the cross to a goal. Let's say the defender thinks that Holland is behind them somewhere to the right, but Holland has in fact run behind them and is now to the left. The defender is going to cover the right area, meaning that there's a ton of space for Holland. He's all alone in the box, and that's usually a goal. It sounds easy, but it's really not, and it takes a lot of practice. So, for the drill, I'd like you to play some cones randomly in the box. Could be two central defenders and a right back. Let's call them Jeff, Jeff, and Jeff. And obviously Jeff can't move or see, but you get the deal and they'll still serve as pointers on where you should try and move. And I know Jeff is blind, but I still want you to try and shake him off and get into empty space. So the drill goes like this. You run back to a cone outside of the box. There's a ball, you take the ball, turn around, make a through ball to your friend on the flank. And then you do what? Yes, you make the deep run into the box. When you get in here, you have a couple of options. You can either go to the far end of the box and then run in behind them, get the cross, slot home, or you can try and shake off the defenders, although Jeff, uh, his cones, basically a little body feint, and then move to the first area, slot it home. The important thing is that you do it with speed, you do it match relevant, 
And also you wait just until the cross comes so you can run into the ball and just slot it home. Phil, let's give an, an example. I come into the box, yep, and there, and it's a goal. Finally, I want to look at Holland when he's in for the finish because the man is cold. And right, having ice in your veins is not something you can just go out like that and train. But if we look at Holland, we can see that when he's close to the goal, he's facing the keeper. He usually just slots it home very controlled with his instep. And yeah, okay, he's gonna smack it top corner if he needs to, but why go and risk it when you have a shot? You can see the keeper, it's just you and him. Why risk putting too much power on the shot, losing a bit of control, where you can simply just slot it home with the instep and get the goal for sure. For a true striker, it's about the goals, not the Puskas Awards. And the science to becoming a cold-blooded goal scorer is, well, honestly, there is none. It's all about being confident, calm, and composed when you're in front of goal. And the only way to become that is to, well, have a lot of shots on goal. That's the only way to learn. So this drill is very, very simple. I simply want you to put whatever distracts you in goal, then run at goal and slot home calmly. I put Phil in goal. He's not a very good goalkeeper, but the very fact that he's gonna come rushing at me, screaming like a madman, is gonna put my brain under a bit of pressure and make me potentially rush things. So, you can come from the right, the center, and the left of the area, maybe have a cone that you need to round, and then you just have to go and Phil comes out, and you just have to stay calm, stay composed, and then slot it home. It might seem a bit silly, but the more you do it here on the training pitch, the easier it is to stay calm when you're in a match. Because you've done it a thousand times before. So there you have it, my friends. Some tips on how to become an ice cold goal scoring machine, just like Erling Haaland. And okay, Robert Lewandowski might be the goal scoring king of Europe right now, but I reckon that in the long run, Haaland is gonna take over because uh, yeah, he's pretty good at scoring goals. But guys, do you like this whole analysis training drill concept? And if you do, which player would you like me to do next? Let me know in the comment section right down below. And if you want to gear up like Young Holland in the Vapor 14s, you can go and buy them from Unisport via the link right over there. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.